editing the Snapseed, I am going to show you how to achieve that vintage edit. I'll link to my first Snapseed editing tutorial below. That pretty much sums up how I do my daily editing. But for this specific tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to achieve that vintage flair with only three tools. So grainy film, curves, and double exposure. This is the original photo and this is what it's going to look like. A few other photos I've edited with that vintage look. There's this one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. So step one is grainy film. There's a bunch of filters that you can use, but as I mentioned in my other videos, X03 and X04 are my two absolute favorites. You can play around and see which filter works the best for you, but these are the two that I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna start with X03. Adding a lot of grain makes the image look a bit older, getting you that vintage look you want, but obviously you don't wanna add too much grain because then it just decreases the quality of your photo. You can adjust the style strength to however you want, but I don't want it too blue, so I'm only going to do it a little over halfway. I like to sometimes add two or three different filters, so I'm gonna go back into grainy film and go into X04. I like pairing those two filters together. I'm not gonna add any grain just because I've already added grain when we added X03. So I'm going to adjust the style strength to my liking. The second step is going into curves. For people that have never used curves before, this can feel a little bit overwhelming and it may feel a little bit advanced, but once you get the hang of it, I promise you it's super simple. So I like to go and start with Luminous. And honestly, curves is trial and error. Kind of just play around with the different lines and see what works for your photo. Every photo is going to be different because of the lighting and the tones of the shot. I like my blues a little bit greener, so I'll decrease the blue line so that I can kind of get that teal. And then I'll go into the green, and if you know there wasn't enough green added, I'll adjust it so I can get that perfect shade of teal that I want. And if you're looking a little too orange, you can always adjust it with the red line. So if you go all the way here, it's really red versus down here is really blue. And then lastly, I ended up with RGB, which kind of just just the lighting of the photo so I like it a little bit darker a little bit more faded as you can tell if you go up it gets super bright and then if you go down it gets super contrasted and super dark because we're trying to achieve that faded look I'm gonna go up a little bit and I go up some more so it looks even more faded and then we're done with curves and then lastly double exposure there's so much you can do with double exposure, but for this instance specifically, we're gonna use it to add extra dust. Click on the left icon to add an overlay on top. <laughs> Just like normally above images, but we're gonna choose the dust overlay. What it's gonna do is it's gonna add just a layer of dust over your photo so it looks a little bit more vintage. You can play around with the different layering styles, but I like to toggle between default and lighten. I think for this instance, I'm gonna use lighten. If you click on the teardrop icon, you can adjust how much dust you want in your photo. Obviously, if you go all the way, you're gonna lose your photo and all you're gonna see is dust. I like to add a little bit like so. I'm gonna show you with dust and without dust. And there you have it, super simple. It only took three steps, but again, because I'm such a perfectionist, you can see that I'm a lot paler in the edited version. So I'm gonna adjust that quickly with the brush tool, add some of that tan back in there. And then I'm just gonna adjust the saturation on my top, the jeans, maybe make the Mel's Diner stand out a little bit more like so, and voila, we're done with the shot. So there you have it, a quick way to get that vintage look using Snapseed with any photo. I'm gonna show you again before and after, before, after. Obviously everyone's style is different. I encourage you to find what works for you and what works for your feed. I wanted to thank you so much for 10K subscribers. I started YouTube back in January, so it's been seven months and Never in a million years that I think I would get to this point. I thought it would take me five years. So thank you. I appreciate y'all watching my videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, bye. We need a name for this family. Comment below what you think our YouTube family should be called. Not feeling really creative right now, but if you got any cool ideas, let me know. <laughs> hey, 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 hey.